I reported Johnny Somali to the police. And here's how it all started. I was looking at YouTube, as always. Then I stumbled upon a live stream channel. The name was Johnny Somali. Upon joining his channel, I could see him streaming loud and uncomfortable audio inside the bus. And definitely, the passengers weren't so happy about it. One even tried forcefully snatching the speaker to turn it off. But eventually, Johnny Somali turned it on again, so he could harass other people again. I quickly went on the internet and looked him up, and surprisingly, it was not his first time doing this. Previously, he had been caught in Japan harassing other members such as making jokes about World War II and making inappropriate jokes towards women. He was eventually sentenced to fine and was deported from the country. He was also arrested in Israel for harassing a female police officer and received a 50-day ban from Jerusalem. But the most infuriating thing was that he was disrespecting our most weakest part of our history. This is the Statue of Peace. It was made in memorial for the females who were sexually abused during World War II. It represents the pain and sadness them and all of us went through. And he was disrespecting it during his live stream, dancing, mocking, and doing inappropriate acts. I soon realized he wasn't an ordinary content creator. He was doing this for the sole purpose of harassing other people, and he was enjoying it. On Tuesday, October 15th, I couldn't stand him no longer. I dialed up and called the police. He was live streaming as usual, and I told the police there was a foreign streamer that was doing inappropriate acts in public inside his live stream. There wasn't anything done by the police after then, so I soon after called 182, the hotline for civilian complaints. At there, they told me that they weren't in charge for taking care of them. They instead told me to call the police once again. So I called the police once again, and surprisingly, they took it seriously this time. I received a text message saying that a police officer is on their way. Six minutes later, I received another text message that said that the police office in Mapogu has received similar complaints and they are on the way. The following calls are from Mapo police office and two police officers on scene. During the calls, I sent Johnny Somali's approximate location by looking at his livestream environment. And this is what happened next. What's up? Stop. 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 Stop, stop. stop what? What is wrong? I dance Hey, hey. Wait a second. I'm chill. Calm down. You have to show the police officer the passport. Uh, no problem. But what did, for what, what did I do? I'm saying, what's the crime? Just give them, because we, have, we can check your passport anytime. Give them, but, but what? You, you have to show your I ID. will show you, but what yeah, did I this do? This is illegal. Illegal? If you... If you I will give it... If, if you relax. Don't, if you don't show I will your give ID, you. uh, it's I will illegal. Give, but what? Show me. Hey! Don't show scream. Me. Relax. I Come. Thank you. Relax. Relax. So what's the problem? Can you okay. tell me? Okay. I don't do nothing. Okay. Everything okay? Uh, you have no problem. I have no problem. Come to me, die. Please. Bye bye. Come to me, die. Bye bye. After the confrontation, the police called me one last time that they were sorry and there was nothing they could do because Johnny was dragging the situation for so long. Days passed and Johnny Somali was appearing more frequently on the Korean news. Many Koreans outraged, and there were cases of him being beaten by other Koreans. Rumors say that Johnny Somali has left Korea under police protection by the time of the making of this video. During the making of this video, I had learned three crucial things. The first is that there needs to be some kind of system to prevent these incidents from happening again. The fact that the police cannot do anything to a person that had been recording and live streaming all the crimes he had done was very disappointing to me. The second thing is that YouTube needs to also intervene. During all of this happening, YouTube had not stepped into this incident. The reason why Johnny Somali's main channel was banned afterwards was because of infuriated people hacking into his account 
and screaming inappropriate material. And the third and final thing is that karma comes back no matter what. Mosin out.